Hey everyone, we are here today to talk about the lawsuit between Katie Joy, Tati Westbrook, the lack thereof because it's been dismissed. But before we get into it, I custom my videos. So if you have kids around, go watch something else. Come back. We'd love to have you here. Um, I'm just not kid friendly, like at all. I'm I'm trying. <laughs> all right, let's just let's just do this, okay? The case has been dismissed for right now because jurisdiction. Um, as m most people know, it can be refiled. It can be filed in, you know, California. It can be filed where Katie is. It can, you know, uh, lots of lots of things can happen. This is not the end of it. And I'm pretty sure, in my opinion, that after Tati has spent all this money, it's probably going to be like. Yeah, we're we're doing this until it gets done. Like, just personal opinion. I, she could be like, fuck it. But I, I don't think so. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not a lawyer. I'm not here to talk about, like, why it was dismissed and, and what's going to happen and as far as, like, the next step and, and things like that. That's not really what I do here, obviously. But I do have some thoughts and, and concerns and, and things that I think will be interesting um going forward in this time in between it being dismissed and possibly refiled which um, again I, in my opinion I pretty much think it will be but my thing as soon as I heard it was holy crap Katie is going <laughs> all right so in case you don't know when all this started which feels like it's been thousands of years ago okay when all this started and, and the motion to dismiss was filed, Katie was all up on the Twitters and the, the, the Instagrams talking about boom, 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 bombs are going to drop and y'all are going to see the truth because you just don't know. And then it was just like it was a motion to dismiss, which is something that pretty much happens. Um, and there was nothing in there but saying like, well, Tati, did, she made the Bye Sister video. <laughs> like that was... That's pretty much it. It was not impressive. No one no one was impressed. We were not impressed. Um, but it was just, you know, for the longest time throughout this lawsuit, Katie herself would not shut the fuck up. And I don't know how many times I made videos being like, Katie, please shut the fuck up. I think that's how a lot of Katie channels have gotten started. We're just seeing just how bad it was and, and you know yes getting on here to talk about her bad behavior and and things that just can't stand about her sometimes but also with good intentions of like katie why are you doing this to yourself to your channel to your family like this is a it's a legitimate issue you can go back and watch any of my videos about katie i've always been like katie please <laughs> please shut up whether I did that in a very nice and caring way or I was just screaming at a camera for her to shut the fuck up. That's the overall message. So now, with it being dismissed, it's like, what should we expect? Um, because, you know, it was like, finally, even though, when you, just in case, just in case, if you ever get sued, rule number one, shut the fuck up okay please it's for your sake it's for everyone's sake but you know knowing that she wouldn't do that and for so long wouldn't do that until the judge was finally like everyone is going to shut the fuck up like we're gonna we're gonna stop all the the social media bullshit we're gonna stop completely and for the record tati and and her husband james have never spoken on this that's it's never not at all. So Katie just kept going and going and going, and we're we're all looking at her like, why the frick are you doing this? Like, what could you possibly think this could do other than ruin you? And so she finally had calmed down. She had stopped talking about it, and this was just recently. It's been in the last couple months, and. She went back to her regular content, and it's like, okay, 
here we are, you know, she's not calling out other YouTubers, she's not talking about the lawsuit, she's not continuing to say certain things, like, it's finally, like, she's gonna, she's gonna shut the fuck up, um, but now that it's dismissed, what can we expect? Is she gonna come on and, because in, in my opinion, I pretty much expect her to come on and be like, see, I told you they didn't have shit. See, I told you I win. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. They, you know, even though it was just dismissed because of jurisdiction. Like, that doesn't mean you didn't beat the case, okay? No, you didn't prove that you didn't defame Tati, because you can't. Um, but it was just dismissed. But I, it, in my opinion, for what I have seen and what we have all seen from Katie... I could totally see her jumping online, talking the shit on the Twitter, talking the shit on the Instagrams, making YouTube videos talking about it, and just, you know, full on being like, well, I told y'all, nothing happened to me, nothing's ever gonna happen to me. Just like when she said, hey, I've already gotten four cease and desist, if they were gonna sue me, they would, she's probably gonna do the same thing about this. Well, if, if anything was gonna happen, it would. And I, I worry, I don't, I don't even know if I can say, like, I worry of how much, like, it's not like there's but so much more damage that can be done with her, but then again, every time in the past I've thought that, there she goes, <laughs> you know? But I also wonder, like, because she had stopped attacking other YouTubers and, and calling them out so much when she was trying to play nice and, and, you know, not talk about things and not talk about the lawsuit, is that over now? You know, is is it going to go back to what it was? Is she going to start picking fights and talking shit and stirring up the drama and getting into all of everything because she thinks she's, like, off scot-free? Like, that's kind of what I think. Um, and let me know what you guys think. You know, do you think she's going to actually stay in her own lane and then just do her regular content? Do you worry that it's kind of going to be like what I'm saying? Like she's just going to go balls to the wall now because she thinks she's won or she thinks she's gotten out of it. And then let me know what you think is going to happen next, you know, if she does that. Because in my opinion, like I said, first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, first of all, I already feel like Tachi has put enough time and money into this where she's gonna be like oh no 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 if we can't sue you here we'll sue you wherever it takes but even if she's like okay this is tati even if tati is like all right this has been too much because i think we also need to to take into consideration how far this this lawsuit pushed things on the internet because people were getting doxxed and harassed and and hacked there was so much and and you can have whatever feeling <clears throat> voice hold on <coughs> i'm sorry but you can have whatever opinion of tati you want and whatever feelings my personal opinion i don't think she's a terrible person i think tati is genuine i think she is kind i don't think that she would be happy to see what was going on during this time and I know she couldn't speak out about it but knowing that people were being doxxed and harassed and all of that because of a lawsuit that you filed on someone else can't feel good and I've also thought well maybe because of all of that <coughs> if it got dismissed maybe Tati would back off because she doesn't want to see other people being hurt as a result of something that she's doing. But then again, there's also the aspect of like, but Katie's the one doing this, and as long as she's online, she's going to continue to do that. And that is just the truth of it all. No matter how you look at it, no matter how Tati feels about it, that's the truth. As long as Katie's online, there's always going to be that type of shit going on. I just, I don't see it changing. And that's just because that's what she has put out there. That's what her interactions with people have caused. Like, she's pushed people to flag other channels, to harass people, to dox people. You know, <clears throat> that's just who she is and how she is. And she's proven that time and time again. 
but you know what do you what do y'all think is gonna happen like do you think it's possible that Tati would be like this isn't worth it to continue to refile and have like all of these other things happen because of it or do you think she's gonna like no I've I've already stepped in it like this is gonna happen we're gonna do this I mean I guess I could see both sides of it i still personally do lean more towards tati being like no we're gonna we're gonna do this because that's a lot of money put into it it's a lot of time a lot of stress a lot of not being able to talk about it and you know seeing the the hacking and the attacks on people could you could view it either way you could view it as i don't want people being hurt because of something that i've done or said or whatever or problem that i'm having but also, you can view it as, I'm taking this bitch down because this is wrong. And that would probably be my stance on it. Not even probably. I know. I'd be like, oh no. You're, you're going to stop. Like, I'm putting a stop to this. If I can help it, you're going to stop. But, it's, it's going to be interesting moving forward, like, to see Katie's reaction and... You know, is she going to be bomb dropping on the Twitters? Is she going to be like, I told you so? Is she going to start calling out other YouTubers? Is she going to start back talking about Tati Westbrook? <laughs> like, is she going to talk about Michael Saltz? Like, this ought to be quite interesting. And if she doesn't, and she actually just keeps her mouth shut, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously it would be a good thing. Is it going to stop all of the other stuff, though? Because the thing about all the, the, the hacking and the, the, the harassment and stuff, like, the hacking, I don't know that Katie was in, involved in completely. Um, it, for all we know, it could still be the fact that somebody just wanted to fuck with both sides of the lawsuit, both parties. Um, we don't know. But with everything else, Katie never has ever got on her platform and said, hey, this shit is not okay. Har har uh, harassing, doxing, and all of this, like, this shit is not okay. And so, even if she stays quiet, will all of that shit stop? Because, I don't know. And I wonder, I mean, I've often wondered, like, how much is she still saying behind the scenes? Like... I just, in my my brain, my opinion, I can picture her, you know, hey, I can't say anything because of this lawsuit, so can you do this, this, and this? Like, I could still see her doing that. I really could. So it's going to be just really interesting to see where this goes. Will it get refiled? I believe it will. How will she react? Does, does this affect all the other shit that's been going on? Will that die down? Um, and so just let me know what you think about it and what you feel is going to happen. What would you like to see happen? I know me personally, as well as many, many other people would like to see the lawsuit go through and play out. Like I really, I personally really would. I feel like that's the only way Katie will ever be held accountable and taught a lesson, you know, for once to be told this is not acceptable. You were wrong. Um, but, you know, it, it could still go either way. It could be like enough's enough. You know, I'm sure Saltsy would hate that. Because um, <laughs> I, I can, if I can say one thing out of, out of everybody, like, I don't know how Katie's going to react. I don't know what Tati's going to want to do. I guarantee you Saltsy is like, let me refile this. Uh, fuck them. Because <laughs> so much happened. Like, that whole situation that whole lawsuit was like it turned into salty versus brown and it was bad like talking about sanctions and bar complaints and, and all of the things like it it wasn't good <laughs> like at all <clears throat> so i know he's like we're, we're gonna get on top of this and and there's another thing to consider like you know as far as like if you're looking at it specifically through tati's side you know, all the shit that's happened, looking at Lori and Barnhart, looking at, you know, all, all the shit that people have been put through up until this point because of this. But it's not because of this, it's really because of Katie. It's Katie's, her actions that have led all of these people to where they are. 
So again, I kind of feel like Tati is the one standing up for that and standing up against that and saying this enough's enough. So yeah, she probably probably will refile. I mean, I don't know the legal side of things. I don't know how the, the filing and the refiling and all that. I don't know all that. But just from where everyone stands, you know, Tati does have a choice to make. She could stop all this whenever, you know. <clears throat> so it's, it'll be really interesting. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> it'll be really interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. That sounds such like that sounds like such a YouTube thing, YouTuber thing. Like in the comment section below. Yeah. No, I love hearing from you guys, and I, I know I have not um, gotten caught up on my comments. It has been hell with virtual learning. I might even make a whole ass video on it because I know y'all parents out there. I know. I feel you. And my child just went back to school this morning. So hopefully I can get back on top of things. I can be on my comments. I can be talking to y'all and I can start posting more often. So that's the goal. Hopefully within the next week. And I'm, fingers crossed that we let them stay in school because it seems like it's always something. Anyway, we're, we're going to try. So I love you guys. I will go through my comments as soon as possible and talk to you and see what you guys have to say about this video. So love you. See you in the next one. Bye.